Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 31 yard line. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. The Bulldogs have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. From the 47-yard line, first down. made around the 28 yard line and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game give the offensive line some kudos there they blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back makes it out to about the 16. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he's hit immediately. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Keeping an eye on what's going on in San Mateo. And for Texas State, they've lost two in a row. The Miners claim the win, 21-14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Brooks takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down. 
around the 47-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. First down grab by the receiver. Brought down at the 34. Gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and ten. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. There's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. Diving for extra yardage. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Around the two-yard line. Russell gains about a yard on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Sims ready to kick. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 32. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Georgia is up by four. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Justice has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the five-yard line, across the 30. Inside the 30, the 10. And he will score. Makes the PAT. The 
Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. Cody fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Georgia's staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half where they've gotten off to a great start so far. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Quick strike to the receiver. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Georgia is up four. And down he goes, around the 43-yard line. at the 40. He's at the 30. Brought down with only one man to beat. First and 10 following that big run. Again with the run, and he tackles him hard at the 18. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Here's the toss, nothing doing. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From the 21 yard line. Third down. So at the end of one quarter, Georgia in front, 14 10. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Georgia holds a four point lead. Plenty of time in the pocket. Let's it go. Got a man open. Touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. Tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Brooks from the five. They'll bring him down at the 25. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They come out on an empty backfield. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Stop 
He's in trouble. Looks to the back and can't connect. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Mason is the putter. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled right around the 40. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Got He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 34. Three down, three down. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Seven yards there. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they make the stop at the 15-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Too tight, too tight. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job at first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Again with a carry. Nice run there. Cody picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. They'll line it up again on third down. hit immediately. That brings up fourth and eleven. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Justice gets set to kick this one away. Brooks from the three. He gets out to about the 25-yard line.
Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. that ball so hard I don't think anybody wanted to catch it it's third down and 10 ball on their own 37 crosses out to the tailback on the screen tackle made right around the 38 yard line looks like the defense was in man coverage there fellas and that's why they stopped that screen yeah and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play Hester back deep to return Hester fields it at the 30 and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line Georgia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now it's everything they planned for and it's all working everything is coming together for this offense they seem to be getting better with each series and you know this game started where this team was you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense and I think right now I think they seem to as I said earlier they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41. Brought down at the 42. complete he's got space to work they'll bring him down right around the 48 yard line and that'll do it we head to the break still plenty of time left in this one 24 10 georgia glad to have you with us in the studio for the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen just about ready to start the second half we're going to watch all the games around the country including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on i'll, I'll keep an eye on that yeah i'm gonna go to the cafeteria you want some turf some ash turf in here yeah if they've got some I'll chew on that in the second half here's the second half for you to chew on with brad and kirk All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Brooks takes it at the eight. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle at the 32-yard line.
from their own 32 yard line. It's second down. Steps up. Strike to his receiver, no good. They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. tight end past the marker and down he goes at the 32 superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense dumps it complete over the middle he's tackled around the 24 yard line Makes it second, second and two. two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He's under some heat. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. So they're going to go for it here. The Wildcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Russell up the gut. Inside the 10. He gets hit out of bounds at the 8. That makes it first and goal. And he throws it away. This is the 12th play of the drive. Pressured and brought down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. And for Oklahoma, 
all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. The Wildcats have the lead, 24-10. 24 to 13 in our game here. Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's taken down to the 32 yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. it out to about the 40. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's tackled right away. Backfield for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 49. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. 24-13, Georgia. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. after positive yardage. That plays good for about six yards and a first down. I think that's the third time he's carried the ball in this drive. And I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop him. And he hits him hard at the 21. Here's the eighth play of the series. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate it. Let's take a trip to Norman. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. And for Nance, he found pay dirt twice on the day. The Wildcats have the lead, 24-17. And for Georgia, boy, what a boost in the BCS standings they'd have if they win today. Georgia is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. 
close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 26. That's good for a game of 10 yards. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires incomplete. Brad, this is a good job by this defense of getting after the quarterback. And until this offense finds a way to slow down that pressure, if I'm the defensive coordinator, I continue to dial up the blitz. Hester fields it to 39. Georgia's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49. Less than three minutes in the game. Irby gets the carry. Runs outside for a nice game. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. Got some open field. To the 10. And he's finally shoved out at the 10-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they make the stop around the one yard line. That's a that brings up second and goal. Defense and their short yardage package. Taken down behind the line. That makes it third and goal. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Georgia! Tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Sooners arrive at today's game number two in the nation. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, they've grabbed this game by the throat. Oklahoma has the edge 31-27. Score here, 38-13. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 38-13. Bulldog.
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.